Hey, what's going on everybody? My name's Nate and this is my channel, No Time to DIY. Today we're gonna check out this Rex Betty double-headed metal nibbler attachment you can buy for your drill for about 38 bucks on Amazon. So as I said in the intro, we're checking out this Rex Betty. I hope I'm saying that right attachment for your drill or impact driver that you can use as a nibbler. REX003 model of a nibbler attachment for a drill or an impact driver. It comes in this metal case which I was really impressed with. I've had this for about three months and it comes with a few other attachments so you can do circular cuts and it also has a guide that you can use as well to make a straighter cut if you're cutting some type of metal. So this also says that it's rated for up to 14 gauge steel. I'm not sure if I will push it that far, but today I will attempt to cut through some 16 gauge steel. Let's check out everything that comes in the kit first. So first off, you get the Rex Betty double headed nibbler that looks like this, and it can, be, it can cut on either side. The way this functions is it basically has a cutting head and a punch. As the drill spins the shaft in this, the punch moves up and down across the cutting head and shears the steel, making small little crescent moon pieces. And it does leave a little bit of a mess behind, but that's fine. You just need to make sure you have a magnet to pick this stuff up. But as it moves, it's shearing and it makes a small cut. Now it's called a nibbler because it's taking these little pieces out every single time as this punch moves up and down against the blade. It also comes with a stepper bit that can go from 4 to 12 millimeters. You can also use this for circular cuts or you can use it as a guide to make straight cuts up to about 4 or 5 inches. In addition, they're giving you a spare cutting head along with a spare punch. It also comes with a tool to change out the blade and do any maintenance on this drill attachment. In addition, you're getting this metal case that everything comes in pretty neatly tucked away and it's all foam padded so it's not going to move around on you as you're trying to work on this. Understanding why you would want this over a shear or a double headed shear is really important. I'm going to be using my DeWalt impact driver and DeWalt does make a really nice shear attachment for roughly around $50 but sometimes you can find it on sale for $35 to $40. The reason that you might want a nibbler is it works really well whenever you have to go over something like corrugated siding if you're making a cross cut. If you're using just a single headed shear, it's really the equivalent of using a pair of metal snips. Um, just you have it either battery powered or, or it's electric. So it's driven by a motor. If you have a double headed shear, it's basically got two blades performing the same action, but you'll notice that a kind of like a little pigtail curls up in the metal because it's taking out a little tiny piece as it cuts along to make that straight edge. Then a nibbler comes in and what's that, what that's doing is it's moving up and down and punching out the steel in these little kind of crescent moon shaped pieces. It's removing a piece as it goes on. So it is making kind of a mess, but it's really nice if you're trying to do a rounded cut or a corrugated siding when you're trying to follow the profile. It's really nice if you're doing a perpendicular cut. Where a shear, if it's nice and flat, might be a lot easier just to go ahead and use that type of attachment. But I think the nibbler, even though it makes a bigger mess, can be really more versatile for what you're trying to do. But you just have to know and do a little research and I think you'll be able to make the right choice whether you want to get a shear attachment or a nibbler attachment for your drill. Now if you're doing metal work of any sort day in and day out, you should go ahead and spend the money and get a actual 20 volt nibbler. Unfortunately, DeWalt doesn't make them, but Makita has it, I think Hitachi, and I'm not sure uh, Milwaukee might have something. Milwaukee and DeWalt both do have a pair of uh, cordless shears, and DeWalt does a corded nibbler, but I just have not seen a cordless 20 volt nibbler from DeWalt, which I'm very bummed about. I'm hoping they release that soon. So today I'm gonna be using my impact driver from DeWalt, 
And this simply just goes in here, quarter inch shank. And I highly recommend wearing some ear protection while using this. It is pretty loud. And whenever you're working with sharp metal, you wanna make sure you're wearing gloves as well. So I didn't have any 14 gauge steel laying around and that is what it says that it can cut through but I did have this 16 gauge stud protector so I want to go ahead and at least cut straight through this to show you that this thing does have some ability and I don't really like to push my cheaper tools to the maximum threshold anyway so you're not going to really catch me trying to cut 14 gauge steel with this but I wanted at least give you a little bit more of a demonstration. definitely want to make sure you have a magnet of some sort to clean up all of the little crescent shapes from the nibbler. Otherwise you're going to find these out in your driveway where you're driving with your tires and it's not going to be a good day. Hey, thanks for taking the time to watch this video on the Rex Betty nibbler. I hope you found it helpful. If you took the time to pick one of these up or you already had one, please leave a comment below. Let us know what you think of it. And as always, if you'd like to get content like this, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.